throw my shit on the other side and I'll just pull you across. today so you're probably not gonna hear a single thing I say today to be honest with you um, but we're back in Minnesota it's the 8th I wasn't even planning on coming out here today but I had to come to town to drop Briggs's heads off at Zach's so Briggs's head off at Zach's so that they can do their magic on it and I was like that's already Minnesota and I'm already in town it's only another 20 minutes so I figured, fuck it, I'll come check out this piece of public up here. And that's what I'm doing right now. Shit. What did I do with that water bottle? Right, cool. So I'm checking out this piece of public. There's no one here. It's thicker than shit. Typical Minnesota, apparently, from what I learned yesterday. This is just what Minnesota hunting is. But uh, there's no one here right now. Strong wind out of the south, like 20, 30 miles an hour. 
but it's like 60 degrees out. So it's like, I don't know if it's good, bad, or what, but I don't know what it's gonna be like back in there. So I'm bringing the saddle with me, but I don't know if I'll be able to get into it. Kind of gonna be a pain in the ass with the rifle in the saddle and the camera and everything. It's actually easier with a bow hunting out of a saddle, I'll be honest. Just because the bow hangs so nicely and everything, so I have no idea how it's gonna go to be honest with you. Making me a PB and J quick. Before I go sit in there for five hours, six hours. But crazy winds. We got fields on both sides of this wood lot. Um, wind's coming out of the south, so my guess is that they're gonna be going out into the south field. So my game plan is there's a creek that runs right along that field line. I'm gonna be on the north side of the creek. So deer will probably travel along that creek if they're moving this direction for safety purposes. Cause they can use it to escape, but they're gonna be escaping into me. So that's the game plan. Don't know how it's gonna go. Probably gonna shoot the first thing I see. If I shoot anything. But my ADHD ass couldn't just sit in the house today and not hunt. I was going to go archery hunting and then I was like, fuck it. I don't want to get shot in my own state and not have a rifle to shoot back. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just come here. Like I said, it was 20 minutes outside of town. I was already in town. So it's not like I wasted a whole bunch of gas coming up here and fucking around. So hopefully we get in there and see something. And, uh. We'll shoot something midday cruising, who knows? It is November 8th, so the rut's going on. Even though it's 70 degrees out right now. Still gotta be moving. So see you guys in there. We're doing this a little backwards, but uh, we're in Minnesota. We just got here like 20 minutes ago. There's like a million people hunting this one plot of 100 acres. And uh, Wadi and I were actually gonna dip out. And uh, he texts me, well, I bumped a deer in there. And I was just like, well, he didn't smell me. And uh, so I was waiting on, I was actually on my way out to meet Wadi to go somewhere else. And like, I don't know, couldn't have played out better. Just a big old fat fucking doe standing there. Not a care in the world, 40 yards. So I just shot her. <laughs> and just like that, I'm tagged out in Minnesota. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go cut her up quick and then we're gonna try to get Wadi on one tonight, see if we can't double up. 
in Minnesota. I a doe here on accident, kind of, but she's just laying back here. Look at that horse laying there in the weeds, bro. Look how fat she She doesn't look like old, but she's a fat. Yeah, she is. Yeah, bro, she literally came through here. Cause I shot her there and she flopped through. Dude, it's so nice when they're not stiff. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come around, that's fine. Done, son. We are tagged out in Minnesota. Nice, bro. Yeah. Dude, I'm just happy to have venison, bro. <laughs> One, this is a streak, because this gun has never killed anything yeah. since I've owned it. I've had it like six years. I've killed stuff since then with the rifles, not this one, though. So she's been blessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's still on, apparently. Right through the front shoulder. Right in the sweet spot. All right. Shall we? Yeah. About to christen this knife too. We're back for round two. Going back in, see if we can. 